everyone. Continuing our geography from last week, I'm going to combine two different photographs and put them together to make new images. And we're looking at the art of Ansel Adams and combining his photographs with my art from last week. So the first idea I had was I took a picture of the view from my window. This is the window with the window panes and the glass in. And then I just Googled a picture of the Grand Canyon, cut it into shapes, and then you can place them on the windows like this. Thought it was a good way of showing how when we look out of our window, we're daydreaming or thinking about being two, in two places at once. And this demonstrates that and shows what that looks like. The next idea I had was to use, a, this is a photograph of my triptych, my painting that I did of my three paintings of the panorama of the Grand Canyon. And then this is a picture that I just Googled that was very similar. Cut them both into strips. And then what you do is you just sort of weave them in and out every other one and just change them, have a play, see what they look like and see how effective. You might have to, like me, I didn't exactly cut them straight. So you might have to line them up like that. Keep going until you've, you're happy with your final result. And just so you've got every other one, you can move, you can cut smaller slices, you can cut larger slices. You could even include a third image in this. And you end up with kind of like a barcode of your images combined together. Glue them down, I think it's quite effective. Let's have a look. Now you can see the horizon here follows along, so that's really effective. And the colours I chose to be all the same sort of tones. So this idea of combining photographs, they've used two, I think two or three different photographs. This is in your pack. And they've cut them into equal size triangles and then just fitted them together as, as like a jigsaw puzzle. Some of them have even been, like this one's even been turned around the other way. And it all works because they're all very tonal and the colours are very similar tone. There's nothing um, very light or very dark. They're all very tonal. And the next one is this one. This one is the same. They've used the same um, pattern underneath. So they've cut up different photographs and cut them into like um, a jigsaw puzzle underneath. And then on top, they've cut these letters, um, which says, you are beautiful. So, so they've sort of put a message in with this one. So this is Ansel Adams. This is when he was a younger boy. It's probably about a teenager in this picture. And this is when he got older. Um, to find out about him, I re just in researched on the internet. And I found out that he was always sick when he was young. So he had lots and lots of things like measles and flu. Um, and he was also, he also fell when he was four in the San Francisco earthquake in 1906, which is interesting. I've chosen two images which are very different to look at. This one, first of all, I found in the archives. And this shows uh, one of his photographs is very, very sort of rugged and it's got lots and lots of contrast. I love the, the darks and the, and the lights and of all the craggy rocks. So I chose that one to play to have a look at. And then this one, again, is very different. And um, this shows that you've got the rocks here in the foreground, this lovely sort of pinnacle here. But then in the background, the colours are really muted. You can see the perspective. So you can see the darker colours in the foreground and the way that they go lighter in the background. And then I asked them the question, what would happen if I combine Ansel's photography with my own art? So this is one of the contour pictures from last week. This is my contour painting. And so what I did was I cut it, cut it up, cut it into this sort of to make those shapes, my contour shapes. And then I used Ansel's um, photographs. And this one is stuck underneath. So, that, so I've layered them. I've stuck them on top of each other to make new images. And what's quite nice is you've got the black and white and the grey tones and then the colour on top. So then I did the opposite and I used my painting, my photograph of my painting, and then I cut contour shapes out from Ansel's photograph and I put one there and I put one there and then you could also you could add some more in to see what that looks like. Next, I've cut up my painting a bit more, or my photograph of my painting a bit more. So I've started with Ansel's lovely photograph here, and then I've cut up some, some of these sort of like contours, shapes, and you end up with these lovely shapes, which become like a puzzle. You can put them wherever you want, have a go. And then I just place them wherever I thought they looked good. 
can overlap them. You end up with shapes like this that sort of fit inside each other. You could leave a gap like that um, and just keep going until you're happy with it. You can use as many or as little as you like. But as long as you're combining your two photographic images, that's what you want to do. So I forgot to say that earlier that when Ansel fell in the earthquake, he actually broke his nose, so it was a funny shape, and he used that to his advantage. He was a funny guy and he liked to tell jokes. Um, so thanks very much, see you next time. And um, we're gonna create some more combining different images. Maybe use your own next time, use your own drawings and your own photographs. Bye.